Running for Congress was never in the plan. It was never in the cards. It was never something that I thought I'd be able to do. And if we work our butts off to make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress, uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate, and the House in 2020, we can't start working in 2020. I can't let you go! January 3rd, January 4th, we're signing the health care, we're signing this. But they don't actually inaugurate Congress people, they swear, swear them in. in. And then she went on to say that she was going to get inaugurated on the 3rd and then start signing bills on the 4th. You don't get inaugurated and you don't sign bills, only the president will sign the bills that you present to him. But she appears to have her political colors mixed up. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be hopping on here, uh, Senator Sanders' account. And we're here in Kansas City to rally for Brent Welder. We're going to flip this seat red in November. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did you run? I ran because I felt like we could do better and that we could be better as a country. And I looked around. You know, the, the benefit of capitalism is that you engage in voluntary trade. It is the system that, unlike all the others, has lifted more people out of poverty over the course of human history than any other system. Well, so I think that uh, those things that you talk about, that you discuss, are part of the course of human evolution. Casio cortez says she can't afford to move to Washington. She can't make a deposit on an apartment in D.C. until she gets her first paycheck. Members of Congress earn a solid $174,000 a year. Um, connected most to an electorate when they were fighting for these seats, when they got these seats, when they were campaigning most, when we had more of an American middle class. Mm -hmm. um, but that upper middle class doesn't exist anymore. But when you look at what she just said, that the upper middle class is gone, look at this. In 1979, it was at 12.9%, if we could put up the graphic. And today, the middle class has grown, as you can see, more than double that number from that many years ago. Yes, but I also think that what people are starting to see, at least in, in the occupation uh, of, of Palestine, I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements that are increasing in, in some of these areas and, and places where, um, where Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty in access to uh, their housing and homes. Do you think you can expand on that? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd also just, I, I am not the expert on geopolitics on this issue. You, you use the term, the occupation of Palestine. Mm. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um, 